Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, comment below or if you have any questions about this problem. Alright, let's take a look. We're just going to solve for x. So the first thing we're going to have to do in this problem is to isolate the absolute value there. So we're going to have to add 5 to both sides of the equal sign and that gives us the absolute value of 3x plus 1 equals 2. Well, since this is the absolute value, it's going to give us two equations. Uh, that means we're going to have two solutions from this, all right? So rewriting those two equations would give us 3x plus 1 equals 2 and 3x plus 1 equals a negative 2. So let's go ahead and solve this equation on the left. First thing we'll do is subtract 1 from both sides, giving us 3x equals 1. And then we'll just divide by 3 on both sides to find that x is one-third. So that's our first answer to this problem. And uh, we're not even done with that, but we'll come back to it, all right? So the next thing we're going to do is work with this equation here on the right by subtracting 1 from both sides. And that gives us 3x equals negative 3. And then we'll just divide by 3 on both sides. Finally, this gives us x equals negative 1. So we have two answers here. The next thing we're going to want to do, is just to be thorough with this, is to check our answer. So be careful with that because some of you would want to stop here, but it's important for you to continue and check your answer just to make sure that you're right. On a test, this is critically important because it allows you essentially to make sure that your answer is correct and that you'll get 100% on that test. So let's go ahead and check these two answers. What I'm going to try to do here is, is to have the expression on the left equal the expression on the right, which is negative 3 for both of these. So let's go ahead and do this first one. And we're going to take 3 times that 1 third, which is 1. And we'll still add the 1. Then we'll subtract the 5, and that should equal the negative 3. Well, the absolute value of 1 plus 1 is still 2. And then 2 minus 5 is actually negative 3, which is what we needed it to be. So we've checked this first answer, x is 1 third. Next thing we'll want to do is check that x is negative 1. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 right here. And then we have this negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. And we'll take the absolute value of that which does equal 2, and then finally 2 minus 5 is negative 3, which is what it's supposed to be, that negative 3. So this one also checks off, and we find that our answer is x equals negative 1 and also 1 third. You can write those separately as we've done down here, uh, but you may write them as a pair like this. All right, I hope that you found this video helpful. Again, uh, please subscribe and comment below. And if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.